Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. South Korea reached a significant milestone in its defense strategy with the announcement of the completion of the long-range surface-to-air missile, LSAM, system by the Defense Acquisition Program Administration, DAPA. This marks a crucial advancement in the nation's missile defense capabilities, particularly against threats from North Korea. The Ministry of National Defense, MND, confirmed that the LSAM has successfully met its technical development goals and has been deemed combat-ready following rigorous testing conducted by DAPA. The LSAM system is a critical addition to South Korea's air and missile defense network. It is designed to intercept incoming missiles at altitudes ranging from 50 to 60 kilometers, effectively complementing existing defense systems like the Patriot and Chonggung-2, which cover interceptions at around 40 kilometers. The LSAM's development has been ongoing since 2019, spearheaded by DAPA subsidiary, the Agency for Defense Development, ADD, in collaboration with local military technology firm LIG Nex1. With production set to begin in 2025 and deployment planned for the late 2020s, the LSAM will significantly bolster South Korea's defensive perimeter. Further expanding on this success, DAPA announced on May 29, 2024, the approval of the Long Range Surface to Air Attack Weapon 2, LSAM 2, development plan during the 162nd Defense Acquisition Program Promotion Committee meeting. Known as the Korean version of THAAD, Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, the LSAM-2 aims to secure high-altitude interceptors with enhanced interception capabilities. This project, scheduled to run from 2024 to 2032 with a budget of approximately 1.0664 trillion won, will enhance the multi-layered defense system, providing robust protection against high-altitude missile threats. The committee also approved the development plan for the mid-range surface-to-air missile, MSAM, Block 3 system. This new system aims to improve interception performance and engagement capabilities over the existing MSAM Block 2 system. With a substantial budget of approximately 2.8015 trillion won, this project will continue through 2034. Developed by the ADD, the MSAM Block 3 will further strengthen South Korea's ability to deter North Korean nuclear and ballistic threats, enhancing mid-range missile defense. In addition to missile defense systems, the committee reviewed and approved a project for the development of advanced chemical, biological, and radiological, CBR, protective clothing. This initiative aims to develop superior CBR protective gear through national research and development efforts, thereby improving the protective capabilities of South Korean military personnel. The integration of the LSAM and MSAM systems into South Korea's defense architecture represents a strategic enhancement of the country's multi-layered missile shield. By addressing threats at various altitudes and ranges, these systems ensure comprehensive protection against North Korean missile attacks. The LSAM and its successor, the LSAM-2, alongside the MSAM Block 3, form the backbone of this robust defense network, reflecting South Korea's commitment to maintaining national security in an increasingly volatile regional environment. As these projects progress, South Korea's defense infrastructure will continue to evolve, reinforcing its deterrence capabilities and safeguarding its sovereignty against diverse threats. The completion of these advanced systems underscores the nation's strategic focus on technological innovation and defense readiness in the face of persistent regional tensions. That's all for now. See you later.